batch profile is where you identify the number and type of index fields and the workflow that you want your batches to follow. There is an unlimited amount of batch profiles you can create on the system. To create a new batch profile, select the new button and name your batch profile. Once you create your batch profile, it will open up all the options. In this video, we are going to cover just the basic and essential tabs and features of the batch profile. The index field tab is where you want to identify which index fields you have for this profile. You can have up to 75 index fields per batch profile. If you want to make sure that a field is not left blank, check the required option. The sticky field option performs an automatic copy and paste from one document to another. The field length is the maximum number of characters that can be entered into that field. The default value allows you to type in a value that you want to automatically pre-fill in that index field when you enter the index module. Field type indicates the data type of the index field. Numeric and text only allows the user to enter in numbers and letters. Text allows the user to enter only letters. Numeric allows the user to enter only numbers. Unlimited characters will allow the user to enter anything and everything from the keyboard. Date allows the user to enter a date value with a few different format options. Select list allows you to create a predefined list of values for users to choose from. To create a select list, click on the options button and enter the values that should be contained in the drop down menu. Auto sort will sort the values alphabetically. Force match will force the user to pick a value from your drop down menu. If force match is unchecked, then the user will be able to type in their own value. Note that if the user types in their own value, it will not be automatically added to the list of values. The next essential tab to the batch profile setup is batch progression. This is where you choose what workflow you want your batches to follow. On the selected modules list, it is pre-filled with a standard workflow Scan and import first, then quality control of the images. If you have automated zone recognition set up, then the batch will go through the zone recognition process. If no automated indexing is set up, then the batch will go straight to index and then to QC index. The final step in the workflow is to export the files to a document management system or to Windows. The Batch Name tab controls how newly created batches are listed and named in the system. By default, when a new batch is created, it will prompt the user to enter a name and number for the batch. You can pre-fill these fields with default values by checking pre-fill options here. You can also pre-fill the batch number with a consecutive serial number that never repeats. Here you can choose the starting batch number and whether or not you have the leading zeros. Once you have checked that you want your batch name or number to be pre-filled, you also have the option of allowing users to change the pre-filled name or number or force them to use only the predefined values upon new batch creation. The file name tab controls the naming of the images that are exported from the system. By default, the file name has a prefix of docu and then a four number sequence. If you wish to change this file name to another predefined value, simply type in your own. When exporting to Windows, if there are duplicate file names found, then there are options to add an underscore or dash to the end of the file name with the consecutive numbering. Please be aware that you have the options at export time to name your file based on the index field values. Therefore, 
This tab is only used if you are not using the naming of the files by the index field. This covers all of the essential tabs in the batch profile. Once setting the options in the file name tab, batch name tab, batch progression tab, and index field tab, you have a completed and fully working batch profile.